you ever like uh, judge yourself to the point where you know you could have done something better, especially in a performance, and maybe it's just hard for you to just oh, let it for go? Sure, that's what I hate about when productions take a really long time in post to come out because it'll be like two years later, and then I'll be like. I have grown so much since then. <laughs> like, I don't even want to share this with people. I'm like, I really liked it then, but now I'm like, oh, I wasn't focusing on voice work at the time. And now I'm like, oh, I wish I inflected differently or like, it. yeah, I definitely can see things like that. I do. I, I, I get that way a lot. Um, at least like, uh, not so like, I haven't really seen anything two years later like that it took that long the turnover was decent whether it's a student film where they have to hit a deadline but uh even with the independent stuff i just realized there's so much more that you know i could have done or did i make the mistake of not really preparing for you know the uh the reshoot that maybe i should just you know uh not just be selective because i don't really change up my look or anything like that too much for a character like as a guy uh i look the same in almost unfortunately look the same in almost everything i do and uh there's nothing wrong with that well i know it's just like um i just like i only do because there's a lot of pieces of me that i can portray like i just remember my hair was like maybe three inches longer uh for the whole movie at one point and uh it was summertime and i thought you know we're, we're putting that one to bed but we came back for a reshoot and I'm like, um, it's a little bit shorter than this, where it's like, you know, the day after I got the haircut, I find out, you Classic. know, that and, happened to me with a lot of hair changes. People would be like, that's a wrap. And then I'd be like, cool, I can change my hair again. And then they'd be like, actually, you need a wig because we're reshooting a lot. <laughs> I'm like, uh. I, not to nitpick, because like, like uh, those are the things like, you know, that sometimes, you know, I think maybe sometimes as a responsible actor, you got to like, be cautious of how you really like you got to preserve your look until you I don't That's know I'm stuck with blonde for a while I'm like I seem to be like up and coming and I'm getting gig after gig and like I can't even change it without like there's always some continuity error like one thing wraps I'm still working on something else so I'm like I guess I'm blonde for a while <laughs> maybe it's like is it really our responsibility like it's nice to actually you know be that have that level of responsibility but can you really blame us more or less for not being prepared for the follow-up or the reshoot or whatever oh no if it was unexpected that's entirely the call of leadership like if they told you you're good and then they're not good like sorry yeah. life happens i'm actually and i only talk, brought that up because i'm learning from those mistakes because now i'm the guy writing the checks you know what i mean like oh for sure i just uh i just <sighs> corrected my first thing um i'm actually getting the footage for it tomorrow but uh I feel that I ran a really good set and it entirely comes from a place of this is what I hated dealing with when I was up and coming. So I made sure that I had like the schedule on lock, the crafty on lock. Like I had all of the scenes set up. I like made sure that my team was people who have done it before that are more experienced than me because it was my first production. And I'm like, I'm going to invest into paying people that are better than me because like, I don't want, like, I want to be the, worst person in the room because like i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> so like i want to make sure that everyone else knows what they're doing so that it doesn't look bad <laughs> no that's actually and that's intelligent like you want to actually surround yourself with people who really do know their shit you know and it'll actually make it so much easier you don't have to be the boss just because you're in charge you know right you want to like i like delegating it's not that easy but if there is somebody with a skill just delegate, you know, and just give yourself, give yourself a break. <laughs>